Hello, hello. Welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 97? Yeah, 97. And we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And uh, I, I did some back-of-the-envelope math when I was planning this out. Because uh, when I did Knights, the first Knights of the Old Republic, I was just doing this as like a three-hour live stream and then publishing the archive later. And, and not actually breaking it up into episodes. And, and I realized... <laughs> I realized when I did that I was going to run into you know a hundred hundred plus episodes just to just to get this game done, and that assumes I made the same level of progress over the weeks. And um, I think this game might actually be a little bit longer. It certainly seems it in a couple of places. Uh, so with all that said and done, you'll probably notice the party's a little different. If you're watching strictly on YouTube, you'll understand why. I, I, I miscounted uh, on last week's live stream, and I only I only recorded five episodes. So I've recorded a, an extra one and kind of stuck it in the middle of the week, um, doing a little crew check-in and level up. And Given what's about to go down, I, I think having an extra Jedi with me might be beneficial. So, uh, we need to do a couple of things while we're here. No, I want the quest book. There we go. So, we can get an, uh, uh, an arrangement, um, <laughs> an arrangement, a meeting with the Jedi Master inside the Royal Palace, but we need to go retrieve from one of the local gang leaders some encrypted holodisks and then our contact will get us that meeting with the Jedi Master. So we've got to do that. Uh, and and that, that's actually two parts of the same quest. Uh, we also need to acquire one more visa. And I have a funny feeling we'll do that when we uh, encounter the gang leader in the cantina. And we, the rest of this stuff is just kind of kind of sitting there long term ish like finding the lost HK factory we just need to run into one more team of HK 50s and we should be able to move that quest forward I, I deeply suspect we're going to run into at least one more before we're done with Onderon just because they seem to pop up at the weirdest times and when you least want them to I mean that's been my experience so far uh, also, we're, we're continuing the, uh, the the Lost Jedi stuff. We've got... So we already found the dude on Nar Shada. We got this guy here. The next one's going to be on Korriban. And I forget where the fourth one is, so I'll have to speak to T3 and and double-check who's, who's left. Because I want to say that there were four that we needed to look for. I think. I'm pretty sure. That seems about right. We'll find out soon enough. Oh. And I still got to figure out, I haven't been able to find too much information on this quest. And I, I, it's got me scratching my head. Gr Gita, I keep saying Greta because she's a Rodian and reminds me of Greedo. And I, I don't know, weird mental connections and all that. Uh, Gita wants us to help establish trade routes on Onderon and Dantooine. We'll get to Dantooine probably after Korriban. Uh, there might be another one in the middle there too, but... Uh, it, we're definitely doing Korriban before we get there. Um, but I haven't figured out who I need to talk to on Onderon, or if this is just one of those things that, you know, once we uh, stabilize the situation with some aggressive negotiations or something like that. Uh, we, 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 so maybe once I'm done here, I'll head back to Narshada, talk to her. And I might be able to trigger a couple of things with uh, one of my minions, too. So, we'll do all that. We'll get there. But first, let's get into a bar fight. That's a that's a Friday night thing, right? I, I seem to recall something about Friday nights for fighting. Okay. Just going to let that joke hang there. A little too long. All right. To the cantina. All right, our right, Jazzy Jazz. I know where we need to be. I, the room with all the thugs. 
All right. Rich. Let's do this. Leroy. What do you want oh. here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina Room's is taken. taken. You should leave. Seats taken. All right. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't use that tone with me. I have a certain set of skills. And the lightsaber to back him up. No. Uh, you have something that belongs... Well, we could go straight with that. Are you a beast rider? Eh, no. Let, let's, let's jump straight into the business of why we're here. You? And just how do you intend to do that? <laughs> I have some credits, perhaps. I was hoping I might be able to buy any holodesks you get from his office. First, I intend to cut you down in front of your men. Then, after I kill them, I'll take it off your corpse. I mean... I'm pretty sure that that's the way this is going to roll. Like, I am really sure that no matter what I say, I'm going to cut her down in front of her men. And I'm going to, after I kill them, I'm going to loot it off of her dead body. Her cold dead body. But let's see if we can try the money route. It isn't for sale. I warned you off, Welder. Kill him. All right. You, uh, just remember, you started these shenanigans. All right. Uh, let's get the Valor. And she's probably going to hit me with speed. Which means I can then do a power shield. I probably should have switched those the other way around. Yeah! Come on. Journal entry added. Yeah, middle of battle wasn't the place for that. <laughs> Did I just, like, stun him to death or something? Who's next? All right, kick him while he's down. I thought I gave her an orange one. Is that actually red and I didn't realize it? Hang on. I'm deeply, deeply curious. No, it doesn't say here. All right. I'll have, to re I'll have to remember to look into that. Because that looked a little redder than, <laughs> than I thought it should. But, okay, never mind. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, there's nothing to loot there. I guess there's just these remains here. Encrypted holodesks, open starport visa, and a Rodian death blade. Well, alrighty then. Alright, let's, um... Rodian Deathblade. It's a melee weapon. One to six damage. Plus one physical. Mm. Oh, not upgradable. Never mind. I, I thought this was going to be awesome. I, I saw on hit attribution damage. Constitution. On hit attribution damage. Strength. Uh, all right, it is balanced, so there's no penalty if used in the offhand. And an attack modifier plus one. Eh, that still might not be a bad offhand weapon for, for somebody with uh, two-weapon fighting or anything like that. I, I might hang on to that. That might be worth hanging on to. Where's those other two things? Uh, I, I, I returned to my original... Um, I wish there's a way to filter just the new stuff. All right, this is a set of the Gents Encrypted Holodisks. Without the improper encryption key, they're effectively worthless. Okay. And an open visa, meaning anybody can use it. All right, we'll, uh, we'll, find, we'll find a new home for that. Come on, loot the body. 37 bucks? I'll take it. Maybe I can buy a card with that or something. I don't know. 
And a strength adrenal, which didn't seem to do him much good, but never mind. Alright. <laughs> I love how nobody even blinks. Like, just, yeah. Okay. Alright. I've got a funny feeling that once we turn in those discs, we're immediately going to meet uh, the Master Jedi. And I know what happens after that. So let's go take care of that starport visa now before it's a mad dash outside the uh, to, to get out out of here. Because um, if you remember, there's lots of fortifications <laughs> throughout this place. And I have a funny feeling that uh, they're not there merely for show. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to you guys in a little bit, too. Alright, there's the crowd, there's... Oh. I won't remain silent uh. any longer! The Republic has actively attacked us! I they didn't expect to get drawn into this. Unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us? Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! I really didn't need this right if now. Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force! That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied. You know what? I, I really, really... Given current events, I'm not even going to comment on this. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, you'll go quietly. I, I, will, I will not. My cause is just... The oh. queen must bow to our will. I thought you were weaker minded with that. My head everyone everyone stop now. I will go quietly. I don't know what you did, but thank you, Offworlder. That was too close for me. Alright, no uh light side points or dark side points? Good. These are dangerous times. People like Ponlar aren't making it any easier. Alright, good. Crisis averted. Um, I wanted to talk to this you guy again. Returned. My stock is filled with weapons I can only sell to off-worlders. Please, take a look. The finest bargains in all of eyes is. Um. Alright, let me take a look real quick. Because this is going to be the last time I get a chance to buy anything from him. Um. Alright. Alright, the Neophyte Armor seem to recall I decided not to just because the Initiate Armor is better and I don't have enough people that need that kind of armor. Uh, yeah, same, same. Although, oh wait, that's why. <laughs> I was going to say that that Verpine... Zal Alloy Mesh looks really nice, looks really useful, and is really expensive. Like, 4k more than I have, so... Yeah, okay. Uh, no. Eh. Nope. Nope, okay. Okay, nothing here. I, I really thought... And I thought there was a conversation option to get somebody to, uh... To, to, to trade... To trade with him. Alright, let me go give the needy family the, uh, passport. Captain, you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. Uh, <laughs> I... I found one. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. But my children and I <laughs> will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship. Thanks to the captain. We get to go into space. All right. There's our light side points and some XP. And there we go. That is... All right. That's everything I wanted to do before... Uh before we went and, and uh, kick this party off. 
Let's uh, let's go turn in the encrypted disks and see about a Jedi Master. Am I gonna get mugged on this corner again? I mean, I've only been assaulted three three times around this corner. At least two. De I'm pretty sure close to three. As long as I get paid, I don't care what they want us for. Uh, that's right. And I've already checked with him. I, he doesn't have anything I need. He's not likely to have changed either. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and save the game before we uh, talk to him. Because stuff's happened and I don't like repeating. <laughs> okay. And Hello, good sir. At all of this yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contacts from the palace without it. I got the holodusks. Great go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got mm -hmm. anything you need to take care of in the quarter? You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contact. Serious Things politics. Bad meeting. You may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. All right. I've done everything I need to do. So uh, contact the Jedi yeah, Master. Yeah, I'll get on it. Grab a cot and rest a bit. Hmm. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Uh oh. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. That clue yeah. is no fool. Thank you, Master Obvious. But if the message is true. Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the general has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is There's a disruption, a disruption in, the in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Man, the Force must get a lot of disruptions. I mean, between the games and the movies That's and the I TV show. There, there, there's just always a disruption in the Force. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full <laughs> battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Uh, I have my ways, Master Kavar. No, I didn't know you were still alive. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian War. <laughs> I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems mm -hmm. my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war, if only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Well. Even an old friend. Uh, I don't blame the Jedi Council. I still trust in their wisdom. I want to know why I was cast out. I didn't expect you would turn on me, too. Now, let's go with the more neutral. I want to know why I was cast out. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Mm -hmm. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy. Oh. There's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? Oh, seriously? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. <laughs> Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must oh, wow. Place. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run. What? What have you done to my men? Last! Men, take care of him. I won't let Kavar escape. Oh, With seriously. With subtlety, I suggest we avoid using grenades and any other weapons that may injure civilians in this battle. Thank you for that. Yes, of course. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's do that. And do that. And do that. And then do that again. 
Oh, I gained influence with Korea. Nice. And light side points. You don't usually get those at the same time. Ooh, somebody just leveled. Come on. Keep running. Is that it? Any, uh... Anybody salute? Oh, no. The waitress ran in there. Interesting. All right, then, uh, I guess that's it. Time to, oh, you know what? Before we go making a mad dash, why not? Because I'm level 21. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that level up. Oh, oh. There we go. Level up. Skills. Are not your strong suit, but that's okay. I need a good lightsaber arm, since you only have the one left. Too soon? Uh, what was I going to do with her anyway? Uh, oh no, precise shot is all blaster stuff. Stealth runs an option because she does have stealth, and I do I do occasionally use it on her. Regen is always a plus. Where's the regen force points? That might be the one to do for her. Because uh, I'm not going to worry about any of her skills. She's already got the master dueling. Uh, flurry might not be a bad idea either, but I, I honestly don't think I've ever seen any of the minions use flurry or power attack unless you expressly add it into their queue. Uh, an upgrade, improved toughness might not be a bad idea either. Hmm. Now let, let's get her the regen force points, and we'll probably get her the re, the regular regen next, and then reassess from there. Ooh, that's right, and she gets a couple of powers. She's already got the best heal. She's got the best there. Let's go ahead and get Master Valor and Master Force Barrier. And that, that means that she's got the top level of all her, all her stuff. Okay. We're going to be struggling to find powers for her soon. All right, let's accept there. Let's go to Mr. Mandalorian, the Mandalore. I don't think you ever get him to not be a soldier. I, I think he's like one of the two people you can't uh, convert to a Jedi, if I remember right. So I'm going to go ahead and just level him up as a uh, level 21 soldier. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have a good soldier or two around anyway. And we do have HK and him. And they, they've, they fill pretty close to the same niche. He's got two points. Let's just go ahead and uh, awareness and treat injury. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? Make a stealthful Mandalorian? Come on. Okay. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and save the game. And before we leave out of here and run into what is almost certainly going to be a major, major crisis. I'm going to go ahead and insert the cut. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. 
Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.